All right, everybody, this is Ross. So I'm making this video tonight. First, I want to wish you guys a happy holidays. Um, I had a nice Thanksgiving. Uh, thanks for asking. Um, I hope everybody else did as well. I hope the holiday season is, um, you know, good for all of you guys. You're staying safe. Everybody's being happy. You guys are getting enough sunlight. You know, you're getting your vitamin D. Um, you're getting some exercise. You're not staying huddled up in your house. So, um, but yeah, what I'm, what I'm going to do here, uh, I decided to do a sale this year, a Cyber Monday sale. Um, as today is Monday, it is Cyber Monday in the United States. If you're interested, um, uh, we're going to have a 30% off sale on all the varieties that I have here listed that are for buy it now prices. Um, so that means anything that you can just outright buy and not bid for is what I'm saying. Um, because we're only doing the sale just one day. It's just tomorrow or I'm filming this on Sunday, but it's just Monday. Um, so it doesn't matter. Um, if any of you guys buy um, tomorrow, um, all, you don't have to do anything. I'll just immediately deduct 30% uh, off of the invoice. But you have to make sure that you don't pay uh, before I deduct the amount. So, um, in fact, you know what we should do, I think, just to make sure that you guys are um, getting the discount before you pay, message me on FigBid, um, the promotional code Ross. Just message me Ross and I will deduct. That way at least I know who here is for the um, the Cyber Monday sale. And the fact that you guys watched this video, you supported me at least during this time. Um, I'm gonna probably also post this on my Instagram, my Facebook, my blog. So if you follow me in any of those places and you saw this video, then you're gonna know about the sale excuse me guys um, so that's all it is um, just thought I'd let everybody know that was what we're doing um, I've already in fact uh, reduced the prices on some of these buy it now prices but I think 30% should make a lot a lot of these a lot more affordable for people um, and yeah that's that's what we're doing so we have basically a whole page here almost a whole page of listings there then we have a another page of listings and then we even have a fourth page here of listings but again it's not many but this is also your chance you know I'm gonna offer some Smith that means if they're seventy dollars a set and you're gonna get them you know thirty percent off so that's forty nine dollars a set it's pretty mm -hmm. good um, and I, have, I must say my Smith cuttings are extremely thick this year but I like to give you guys a nice variation. So I have some thin ones with it, some thin, um, some really thick ones with it. Um, what other varieties we got here? Uh, we got the same thing, Italian 258. I know a lot of you guys love this variety. Again, 30% off. This Lampyrium 1 has been, honestly, um, it's going to be a favorite of mine in the future. I'm going to be talking a lot about it. Uh, that's for certain. It's definitely one of the best tasting figs I have, and no one really seems to uh, know about it just yet. And therefore, I think that's a steal. Uh, Noir de Barbantain is definitely a steal. Nero 600M is a is a standard. There's only one of those left. Um, Col Noir also a steal. I mean, that's one of my best figs. It's also guys goes by the name of Sucret, and um, Sucret is just again, it really is one of the best figs I grow. Uh, Grease Day St. Jean is a standard. Green Mitcherinska, there's only one left. Um, LSU Tiger, a standard. Raven to Kelsey, it's quite underrated. Um, it's got really high flavor. It comes from Bode in France. And in all honesty, that guy doesn't grow bad figs. Um, I'm actually, I've had this fig a couple times now, and it's actually fantastic. Um, Black Portuguese, this one's got a lot of history to it from Belclair Nursery. This is the famous Moscatel Preto. I mean, I can go on and on and on. Stallion, it's a standard. Brianzolo Rosso, it is going to be a standard. You're going to hear a lot more about it from me next year. 
Um, we only got a really small taste of it this year, but I know a, a lot of people in Europe that absolutely love this fig for shorter season climates. Jay, this is one that a lot of you guys in California should really be thinking about growing. Of course, we got the Col de Doms. Um, wouldn't be cutting sale, I think, if we didn't have the Col de Doms. Negra de Agde, honestly, it's super underrated as well. Um, really, people should be paying more attention to this fig. I know it's a favorite of my friend Danny. My friend Jamie likes it. Um, there's a couple really well-known and well-respected fig growers that really like this fig. I actually have a few trees of it myself. Um, even have one in the ground. Negretta is a standard. People don't really seem to pay much attention to that fig. I don't know why. LSU Champagne, Long to do all standards. Again, 30% uh, off. And then go to the first page here real quick. Petit Albique. That's a Villa de Bordeaux. It produces so many figs. It's crazy. Breba, Maine. Extremely productive uh, variety. Barbalone. That's a standard as well. It's it's a black-skinned version of White Marseille. It's, and White Marseille is one of my favorites. We're, I'm going to be talking about this one next year. LSU Huye, a standard. Borgia Soak Reese, feel at support. They are musk rows, in my opinion. You must row them, at least one or one of the uh, of the other. Um, I don't think it matters too much which one you grow. Ronde Bordeaux, a standard. Uh, you can even make an argument, I think Ronde Bordeaux is probably a musk row as well. We have um, Victoria, which is probably one of the best tasting figs in California. Capel Curt Negra uh, is a really nice tasting fig and definitely in, in Harvey's Orchard in California. I know that's a favorite as well. It's even a favorite here. It's just that struggles a little bit with the rain. Ponte Tresa. Uh, this fig is really proving to be something. And I didn't want to believe the hype at first, but, uh, you know, it really is coming into its own. It doesn't split. It's very productive. It's very tasty. Uh, I planted mine in the ground. That's how much I think, um, how highly I'm going to think of it, I should say. Uh, Calderwood, this is uh, LSU Tiger, you know, another standard. Uh, Figu Jean, perfect fig for anybody in a very short climate. This is one of the earliest figs. It's even earlier than Ronde Bordeaux, which is kind of insane. Um, the Daloso, you know, doesn't get enough credit, that fig. Galicia Negra, the... The pulp is basically black. I mean, it's insane. And then, of course, Pastelier is, uh, you know, it's probably up there, right up there with uh, Ronde Bordeaux. Definitely a standard. So these are, you know, varieties here. I'm not selling you guys some crap. These are some pretty darn solid varieties. And, and a lot of this comes from trees that are, uh, that were planted in the ground. So things like Ronde Bordeaux, Villa Sapor, Bordeaux So Greece, um, you know, LSU Huye, Barbalone. These are mo the majority of the cuttings I'm offering you guys are from in ground trees, which means they've got some really nice thick wood, um, usually a little bit longer in length. The potted trees, uh, those might be, um, you know, not as long, not as thick. Um, but they do have better lignification. Um, so you can always ask me, um, you know, if you want thicker or thinner cuttings, you want to know um, something about a particular variety, feel free to ask me some questions on, on Figbit. You just go here on the, on the left side and um, you can send a message. Actually, you can click on any of the listings and I think you can contact the seller here. There's an option somewhere on the listing itself. I'll put the link down in the description again uh, to the storefront. Again, if you guys are interested, you have to send me the promo code Ross before you pay. So let's say you hit buy it now and then it'll give you the option to pay. Don't pay. Instead, contact the buyer. Actually, you can click this button and send me the promotional code. I'll adjust the invoice so you get the 30% off and then uh, you guys can pay after I send you the, the message back on Figbit. And um, the only real reason for that I want to make sure is because I can give you guys a refund, but there's a fee associated with PayPal. So it just makes things a lot easier. 
Um, it's obviously cheaper, um, but I don't have to pay PayPal some stupid fee. Um, so, you know, let me know, guys, um, through Figbit if you want the uh, the sale. It's again, this is only going to happen Monday, Cyber Monday, which is eleven thirty. So November thirtieth. That's it. Last day of the month. Um, yeah, I hope you guys uh, um, are enjoying, you know, all the rooting that you guys have been doing, all the cuttings you've got for me so far. Um, yeah, I, if you guys have questions about the rooting process, we have videos on that. I have a whole playlist dedicated to it right here on the listings. I have a video actually talking about what to do when you get the cuttings. So all the questions are, are basically answered, and um, we're going to continue on as we go through this rooting process as well to continue to document the rooting process, not just from cuttings from uh, other people, but my own cuttings. You know, We're propagating quite a bit this year, actually way more than I ever have because now we have a ton of room in the greenhouse. And pretty much I think I've decided whatever I don't sell – um, in the form of cuttings, I'll probably just root it myself. You know, um, we got a lot of room this year, a lot of uh, space in that greenhouse. So we're going to be uh, working our butts off here. But anyway, um, yeah, again, thank you guys here for watching and, and supporting me. And um, again, I hope you guys have a great holiday. Uh, we'll talk to everybody soon. All right. Take care, guys.